Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. In my previous videos, I stated that probably Prigozhin will be put to the side and someone else will be uh, appointed uh, in his place to lead Wagner Group. And uh, that supposedly is a guy called Grey Hair. He is another commander that came out of the woodworks uh, two days ago. Uh, actually, one day ago. I made a video on an article, um, and this is the, the video I made, titled Wagner Group Doesn't Exist, Putin says in interview, and he talks about the meeting with Prigozhin. Now, in that meeting that Putin had with Prigozhin, I made this video on the 13th, so that's yesterday. In that... Uh, in that video, I used an article where Putin um, talked about the meeting that he had with 35 uh, Wagner commanders, including Prigozhin. And at one point, Putin says, asks the commanders, do you want, you, you can go home, you can work for us, if you, or if you want to follow the orders of the gray hair. And according to Putin, a lot of the commanders nodded like they want. And then Prigozhin intervened and said, they don't want to do that. So he intervened and says, no, they don't want to. Remember, all these guys supposedly are the employees of Prigozhin. Now, who is this gray hair? This gray hair that it seems like is going to be the one that's going to take over. He's another commander that started the Wagner group. And uh, he is still involved in that, in the Wagner group. Let me show you a picture and a little article of, uh, about this guy. Right? I can't call him a gentleman because I don't know if he is or not. You have to do things to be called a gentleman and a lady. Remember? Old England or Great Britain, you had to be, have a certain kind of behavior to be called a lady. I met a lady here, lady left, lady right, um, gentleman left. No, you don't know if it's a gentleman. It's a man or a woman. All right, let's go. The Telegraph. Putin shows off his gray hair to lead Wagner into post prigozhin era. So this is the guy. Now, this comes from Telegraphs, obviously, and is going to be all bad about this guy, okay? So he's a bad dude. I think he's 62 years of age. I looked over and they tell us how, what piece of uh, mm -mm -mm he is. Well, okay, this is per Telegraph. I don't trust anything. I just take the picture right here. So this is the guy. All right, so you say Andrei Troshev was nicknamed gray hair because of his hair color. No shit. <laughs> All right, now they tell us here how bad he is. And it says that Troshev helped set up Wagner in 2014 and has played a prominent role since, running its biggest military operations in Syria, Africa, and Ukraine. Tro and I'm quoting Troshev is the executive directive, director, chief of staff of Wagner Group, end quote, said the EU in 2021 when it sanctioned him. All right. The 62-year-old Drary, call sign gray hair, I don't know, nom de guerre, let's put it this way, gray hair, disguises a career built on thuggish brutality. Okay, this is a, a telegraph. And what's his name? Zelensky is the saint, right? Yes. So Troshev is a veteran of both the Soviet Union's war in Afghanistan in the 1980s and Russia's war in Chechnya in 1990s and early 2000s. Oh yeah, natural brutal. Uh, these were particularly brutal. Oh, there's like a non-brutal war or something? Yeah, or the ones that we are engaged in, which is non-brutal whatsoever. So it says, uh, from here he followed many of his colleagues into Russia's Omon, a unit that meshes paramilitary and riot police duties. Its main job is to violently break up anti-governmental protests. We call them here uh, law enforcement, uh, right? The ones that uh, protect us from uh, mostly peaceful uh, protests. Since then, Troshev has played a key but shadowy role in Wagner, as well as being its executive officer, Vertska, a Russian opposition website, also described Troshev as the head of the group's internal security service when uh, mets out punishments. So he's not kind of a nice guy according to the, to the Telegraph. 
So it's, it, it is sad. I like when it's sad. A lot of people say shit, you know. He also goaded General Sergei Shoigu, Russia's Minister of Defense and Wagner's nemesis as a woodcarver. Well, I don't know if as nemesis because Wagner cannot challenge the uh, Russian military. Therefore, it's no comparison. It's like uh, my, uh, let's say, uh, two years old or toddler or something challenges Mike Tyson. My toddler is the nemesis of uh, Tyson. What are you? They're not even in the same league, right? The same uh, Wagner is the nemesis of, uh, of Shoigu. Shoigu is the Minister of Defense of the Russian military. Nuclear weapons, potentially 30 million soldiers. What do you want? Are you crazy? And these guys are what? A bunch of uh, guys over there. How many? 50,000? And get the weapons from where again? From the Russian military. Please, man. But hey, this is telegraph thinking that speaks with people with IQ below 86, which you and I are not, obviously. So, however, Troshev likes to be close to the action. He is reported to have been involved in decisions taken by Wagner in Syria in 2018 to try to capture an oil field, but probably the Americans were faster. U.S. missiles destroyed the group's attacks, force killing up to 30, 300 people, and they were told to stand down. Uh, the Americans uh, attacked, and these guys were told, stand down. And this is allegation, okay? But anyway, you take it as a fact. After Wagner deployed to Ukraine in 2022, Troshev directed its capture of Bakhmut. Once again, he kept to the shadows with, with Wagner telegram channels, mainly referring to him as the chairman of the League of Protecting the Interest of Veterans of Local Wars and Military Conflicts. Whereas Prigozhin was Putin's chef with an instinctive media savvy flair and an eye for PR stunt. Oh my God, these guys are just criminals here. <laughs> Look at them. Troshev is the door gray hair. Military man who has spent his career serving the Kremlin in its toughest trouble spots. This is according to Telegram, uh, Telegraph, which uh, obviously they, uh, but this is the guy. Oh, hmm. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure he saw a lot. I know. Um, so this is going to be probably, if he cooperates, the guy that takes over from Prigozhin. So finally, I found the man. Because when it happened on the 24th of uh, June, the whatever that was, uh, they didn't follow orders anymore and they tried to do something stupid. Uh, I said my first video and my uh, next ones that they are probably going to do this. Going to take care of Prigozhin out either pop or you stay there and shut the hell up all right and they're gonna you know take over by someone else through someone else i think this is the guy and if he doesn't want to yes sir then it's gonna be someone else and this guy's gonna be thrown next to prigozhin all right thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just